Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So, first favorite video of 2016. At the beginning of this year, I kind of wondered whether I still wanted to be doing monthly favorites video because I don't do them some months and I was trying to think about whether it's still relevant to do a monthly favorites video or is it redundant. But then I thought um, that uh, I like doing these because whenever I discover any new products, they're just the best way to share it with you guys. So this is going to be a very short one because I have just three things that I liked and one thing that I really, really disliked. So just going to start showing it to you guys very quickly. So the first product that I have is a nail polish uh, and it's from the brand LYN. Uh, the particular shade is called Green with No Envy. LYN is an excellent range of nail polishes and I have I have so many colors. They're available at all the juice salons and they're also available a few places online, I'm quite sure. I'll link them below. And this green with no envy is such an excellent shade. I don't usually go for glitter that much, but it's got like a very light, uh, like a jelly base, like a light green jelly base. And it's got chunky glitter in it. Not like super chunky, but sort of chunky circular glitter. Uh, in all sorts of different shades. It's got like black, it's got yellow, green, and um, I just like how it looks very much. Um, very like a three-dimensional shade. And uh, I find that uh, like, you know, glitter nail paint is quite resilient also. It doesn't chip easily. Of course, I do have a slightly hard time taking this out like any other glitter nail polish, but I still like it. Very forgiving polish. Looks very pretty and um, Right now it kind of is the same shade as my eyeliner because I'm wearing the Stila eyeliner that I bought from Sephora. If you're interested to see what I bought from Sephora, I made a whole video on that, so do check it out. The next thing I bought is a lip product uh, that I bought at the beginning of this year. It's a Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm and the shade is called Sultry, it's shade number 225. So when these Revlon Matte Balms launched, I remember looking at them and uh, nothing really interested me that much plus I was a little put off by the price at that time because I had loved their just bitten kissable balm stains but when they released these, these were like 800 and uh, I'll admit I just didn't feel like spending that kind of money on them so I skipped them but recently Debashree did a haul video and uh, with a few different makeup brands and that's where she showed this lip product that she bought and the moment I saw like her wearing it and I saw her swatching it, I really fell in love with the shade. It, it's just a beautiful shade. Usually I tend to go for like bolder and louder shades. If I wear lipstick, I'll wear like a deep color or I'll wear red or orange or something like that. But for a while now, I've been searching for like a more natural nude lipstick. MAC is a great place to start, but I found that, you know, if you Google natural or nude lipstick from MAC, you'll always find recommendations for much lighter skin tones. There's no harm with that, but when you try those lipsticks on you, like when I tried it on me, I, I found them to be too pale to qualify as a natural lipstick for me because uh, I'm obviously darker skin toned and I have slightly more pigmented lips. So this shade, I don't know how to describe it. It's sort of a lovely, like a deepish, dusky, rosy pink with a little bit of brown in it. I feel like there's a hint of brown. And I love it because I know you can tell that I'm wearing a lip product, but it's still like very natural looking on me. I think it's the perfect lip product for mid to darker skin tone Indian girls. It just, it looks very natural. Even when I'm applying it on, it's just like a, a slightly brighter shade of my very own lips and I love it. I'm very happy that uh, I saw it on the Fishery's video. Otherwise, I guess I would have never known this beauty and all that. Um, the Formula 2 is really excellent. I cannot complain. It's just so nice. Though it's matte, it just glides on my skin and uh, very soft. I feel like it's very forgiving on lips also because matte lipsticks can make your lips look bad sometimes, but this, it just feels very nice and quite long lasting. Really one of the nicer formulas I've tried in recent times and um, just a lovely color. I feel like more people should know about this color because it's just so lovely. And the final thing that I have to share in my monthly favorites, not really a new thing, not really a product, kind of a tool. It's this Coriolis hair straightener that I've had for quite a long time now. Uh, definitely longer than a year. If you know anything about my hair, because I talk about my hair pretty often on here, I have very irritating hair. 
I think it has less to do with my hair but more with the fact that Mumbai has really humid weather and um, I envy people who have like wash and go hair who can just wash their hair and let it naturally dry my hair is a mess if I naturally dry it if I'm just chilling at home I will not style my hair but it's seriously it's really messy and really frizzy so I have to style it whenever I'm doing something and I like heat styling Sometimes I curl my hair and I have the curling wand from Coriolis for that but recently I've rediscovered the straightener and in the last 3-4 uh, videos on this channel I've been straightening my hair and I thought that I should mention it again. I feel like I mentioned it here like a year ago but I should mention it again because it's excellent and uh, definitely the best straightener that I have ever tried. It's a bit pricier than like your local brands like Philips or whatever but I have used Philips in the past and their tools are so subpar. This is really like a professional tool. It goes up to 210 degrees centigrade. You can control the heat. There's an on off switch and um, I usually use it on the maximum heat just so that uh, I do it quickly. It doesn't burn my hair. Uh, it's very nice and uh, sometimes when I use it on lower heat, I like the effect that it gives too because it doesn't give this like this is more towards a poker straight look. But if I use it on lower heat, it will just give me a more natural look. It doesn't look like my hair is straightened, but it still looks much nicer than my hair could look on its own. So, if you are looking for a straightener and you have hair that is not like easy to deal with, if your hair is thick, if your hair takes time to usually straighten or if it's like curly and you want a nice iron to straighten it, definitely recommend looking at Coriolis because they have very nice ones. The only thing is, I wish this had an auto shut off. It doesn't shut off automatically. I think once I left it on for like 12 hours, but then I learned my lesson. So don't forget to turn off your straightener guys. And I know that there are straighteners that have auto shut off. So I wish this had it, but otherwise I cannot complain. Those were just the three things that I really liked this month. I wanted to take a minute to talk about something that I really hated this month. And I just needed to put out how stupid this product was. It's the L'Oreal Super Liner Extra Black Gloss. I usually use the Maybelline Hyper Glossy Liner and I really like it. It's quite an economically priced liner also. I think it's just about in the range of 250 rupees. So even if I use a couple of them up a month, I don't feel too guilty because I just like them. They look nice. So you might have seen this one in the Nika haul. So I decided to try this one and see if it was any better. This is significantly more expensive than the Maybelline one. That's like 250. This is 720. And uh, it, it had like a felt tip. Like this is the like tip of it. I thought it would be better, but it turned out to be the worst product ever. I think I may have got a bad bottle. There was no intensity at all. It was like I was getting a thin watery line every time I tried it and then I just used it three or four times and uh, it didn't work properly. I just kept this with me because I wanted to show you guys in this video and I want to tell you guys please don't ever buy this or have any of you tried it? Have you had similar experiences? I'm just going to go back home and fling this in the dustbin because it was the worst. It's been a long time since I've hated a makeup product I bought this much but I really hate myself for buying this. That was all for my favourites and my one hated product in the month of January. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see regular videos by me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!